Hi, everybody, and welcome to Them Wise Girls. I'm your girl, Jada. And I'm Nelly. And I'm Lala. Thanks for tuning in with us. How's everybody doing? Oh, <laughs> I was about to say, we hope you had a great week. <laughs> it's all good. How is everyone doing? How are you doing? How are you doing, La? You're our main subject of focus. <laughs> well, I am doing, I should say I'm still here. I'm here, guys. I'm You're here. still here on the I, same floor in the same building? That's right. I'm still here on the same floor in the same building. <laughs> I'm not feeling great, but mm-hmm. you know what? I am in the final stretch of this pregnancy. I've got a month left, people, a month. So soon we will be welcoming a baby and we'll we'll be on here with him. (laughs) Aw, little Liam gonna make his grand debut on them wise girls. Y'all better look out for that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, how's everybody doing? How you doing, Nelly? I'm good. As you can see, I got, well, I didn't just get my hair done. I got it done last week. So this is crochet. It looks Great. nice. Sissy. Shout out to Sissy. She does hair on the side. You know, she did do. a good job. We're going to put a plug in there for her. Go hit my sister up. Um, she has mastered uh, crochet. It took like two hours. She's mastered wow. so well. Um, she did two other sisters um, that lived here. So she was up here. And she did their hair. She did mommy's Pretty. hair. You know, whenever she's here, it's like, can you do hair? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's, a, it's a break. You know, I get up and go. Um, yep. I did, sadly, cut off my nails. Aww. My nail tech, my lovely nail tech that I've had almost for two years, is moving to a new shop. It's a whole other story. Um, <laughs> so I had to go and find somebody else because I couldn't walk around with claws for the rest of the season. So I now jump down to my pretty. natural nails. They look nice. That's a pretty fall color. It's yes. a color. I'm it's like restarting. Um soon I'm I'm trying to grow my nail now so I don't have to use the tips and stuff. So that's about it. Um so look out for nail growth coming next month. <laughs> <laughs> We shall see what that looks like. Um, what else? They look good. Thank you. Work has been work has been work. Okay, we have we have a class this year. This year is like I'm so used to like kids, normal kids. No, my kids are not normal, but I'm used to kids being kids. These are like teenage boys that are out in the street life. They got family life that is not great. Um, they these are like how do you say it ed kids if you know what that means emotional disturbed kids these are really like they really need some guidance kind of help like it's it's going to be it's going to be a lot i need a lot of patience this year i need a lot of prayer this year i need a lot um this past week was a lot um we have one student he is either on meds or not on meds. You can tell when he's not on, when he's off. It's like a day a day. It's like you literally have to go in and mentally prepare yourself. Like, okay, today might be a good day. Today might not be a good day. Um, but it's football season. It's Woo-hoo! Football. <laughs> and my team won again. Yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's about it. So how are you, JD? I'm doing okay. Um, I had a very busy week. Work was extremely busy this week, but I felt like it made the week go quicker, which was good. Um, so I'm nearing the end of the month. So, you know, got to get in seeing everybody. So, you know, this week is the last week of the month. So got that going on this week. Um, I did my sleep test. I didn't tell you guys I did it. I thought I was going to die, but I think it was mental. I really thought I was out of here. I thought it wasn't going to be no more them wise girls. It would have just been the two of you because I seriously thought I was out of here. It was, I think mentally your mind messes with you because I had this like, it's like a watch on and then something I had to have here. And I had this big thing on my finger and I just was freaking out low key because I'm like, 
I just don't feel comfortable. I don't feel comfortable. And every time I was getting into a deep sleep, I would wake up and I was like, oh, this is not going to work. And so it, you know, it checks your rhythm. So it goes back to the doctor. The doctor looks it over to see my sleeping pattern. And then they're going to reach out to me to let me know what the next steps are going to be in regards to that. So I had that going on. Other than that, everything else has been pretty cool. Can't complain. Um, just been doing what it do. Getting used to this cool weather. As you guys see, it's changed. I'm like, oh, I really need to stop trying to get away with wearing certain sweaters out and really just wear me a fall jacket because it is cool out here in these streets nowadays. So other than that, that's pretty much it that's been going on. I know you ladies heard the news about Miss Courtney Kardashian and Mr. Travis Barker, who is officially engaged after dating since February, I believe. They've been dating since February of this year. They recently got engaged and it was all captured on camera on Hulu. It's going to be on Hulu, they said. Um, Everyone is super excited. Courtney, as you could see, we know she was with the Lord, Mr. Scott DeSick, for a very, very, very long time. And she never settled down with the Lord, Scott DeSick. Um, which I really wanted in the end too. I'm not even going to lie. I really did want them to get married, but Scott needed to get himself together and he wasn't trying to do that. So she found someone who's given her what she's looking for. They're getting married. So what did you guys think about that when the news dropped? So, oh, can I go live? Go ahead, yeah. So I am not a Courtney Kim Kardashian fan, but... I, I used to watch the show back in like when they were like non-plastic days, you know, back in them days. <laughs> um, but I did hear that Courtney was dating Travis and I was like, oh, okay, they seem a little teenage hands all over each other, can't get enough of each other. I was, I was fine with that, you know, and then when I heard about the engagement, I was like, oh, shoot, he really... He really loves her because I heard they were friends for like 10 years. They're neighbors. They live right by each other. See, they, they, they were, see, 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 it always worked like that. They had their, 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 their friendship. You know, that's the most important thing. When you get into a relationship, you need to be friends first. And sometimes you don't want to switch to friendship to relationship because, you know, that might, it might not work. But in this case, it works. So I'm truly happy for her. I know Scott, ooh, I know Scott loved her, but not as much as he, he know he has issues. You know, we all got issues. But when I used to watch the show, I know he was an alcoholic. I think he was doing drugs at some point. He was not in the right mental space for her and Kim. And Kim. Um, Courtney needed somebody to be there for her, love for her kids and take her as she is. And she definitely got that in Travis. I'm so happy. The proposal was, it was so pretty. I was like, oh my God, it's too much for me. But I loved it. I'm so happy for her. So what do you think, La? No, I agree. I really, I I really foresee this working with them. They, in my opinion, are very much opposites, but you know, they say opposites attract. Um, I don't foresee her being a tattooey person. (laughs) <laughs> which she doesn't have any visible tattoos, which he is like covered in tattoos. Covered. But that's like the skater life. Um, but he does really appear to love her. Mm-hmm. I happen to be seeing an article online. It's not an article. Actually, it was like a uh, like an ETV series. It wasn't ETV, but one of those kind of things, similar to ETV. And they were talking about how the Kardashians are very calculated with who they find, who they decide to finally settle down with. And um, in, in, in the art, in the show, they actually made great sense to me. They were talking about how, how these women are so calculated that they marry men that actually have a great following or standing without them, because then they can climb higher by means of their platform. And so, for example, Kim 
they they gave the example of Kim Kardashian mm -hmm. when she was with that basketball player. I I had his name in Chris my Humphreys. Mind. Yes, yeah. Chris Humphrey. No one could tell what team he was on or what position he played. When he was when she was with someone else, no one knew who you know what that who that sure. person was more yeah. or less. And um, so now that she was with Kanye. She had his platform. She used his platform to further elevate herself to get to where she's at. And noteworthy, she's not changing her name. She's keeping her name. Mm -hmm. So um, it just, you know, Kim, Kim Ye, you know, she's still going to go by that. Um, and then same thing with um, Chloe. With the little sister. What's oh, the little Kylie. Sister? Kylie. Kylie. They were talking about Kylie and how she was calculated, where she was with Tiger for four years, yet she never got engaged or had a child with him. Yet now she's working on her second child with Travis. What's his name? Travis. Got, no. <laughs> I was about to say, what's his name? So I was like, you what's that name? rapper? So, boy. So clearly this rapper was um, at one point talk of the town. He had the, the number one album and such. Now, you know, I'm not up on the latest, greatest of music. I'm still back in the nineties. So Me too. You know, sorry for not knowing the music, but apparently um, this guy has great, um, a great following. And I mean, she, she has her own following her own right. But moral of the story is that these women are calculated in that they do not just marry anyone. You still they were marry... talking about Kylie or you went back to Courtney? Um, no, I was talking in general about these women. Oh, okay, okay. And the women, Kylie, Courtney, Kim, um, with the exception of, what's Chloe her name, Chloe? And Kendall. Chloe, because Chloe and Kendall still are kind of low key. Um, they what have it, name? yes. Oh, okay. name. Travis Scott, I was right. Travis That's Scott. it, Travis Scott. <laughs> Thank there you, you go. <laughs> so, um, so, so they're they they've been very calculated. Moral of the story with the men that they have actually gotten with. Um, they have gotten with men that can elevate their platform even further. That's what I was trying to say. So, oh, um, but oh, I am happy sorry. Go her. ahead. Oh. <laughs> no, no, go I ahead. Am happy for her. I, I do like that, um, you know, they have the show coming up on Hulu, and I do like the fact that he does seem to be very much involved with her family, which is very big for me. Um, I do like that. What about you, Jade? What's your thoughts? I was just going to say, I don't know if I agree with the part of Courtney being with somebody with a huge following only because Travis, I only know of Travis from Blink-182, which is a rock group that was out when I was in school. So I only know him from that platform. I, I did read he has done other things, but I only know him from that. And I know his ex-wife because she was on Hollywood Exes of LA. Yeah. So I know her too. So I, I don't know with Courtney, because Courtney is low key in a sense, she didn't want to do the show anymore you know she didn't want to film she didn't want to show her life she didn't want to have any of those things like Courtney I believe had checked out at the door you know she was done with being part of you know that whole franchise like Kim and Chloe wanted to continue to put their stuff out there and you saw the fight that her and Kim had because she didn't okay. want to put her life out there anymore but I I just say that I'm very happy for Courtney even though you know low-key I did want Scott but I remember because I had stopped watching the show some time ago, but I did watch the final season. And I remember Courtney mentioning, because her whole family wanted her to be with Scott as well. Yeah. I remember her mentioning that there were things I had asked of Scott he did not do. And he's not trying to do. So there will be no Courtney and Scott. I'm moving on in my life. And I respected that because... 
you know, you see her and Scott were together for what, 12, 13 years, 14 years. Yes. She just, even though she was friends with Travis for some time, they just started dating in um, February and now they're getting married, which goes to show you, you could rock with a person for a long time and the relationship doesn't bloom. Whereas you could get with somebody later on and the relationship really blooms and the person really cares about you and your feelings. I'm going to share this story about him. And I found it so interesting and it goes to show you, you never know how someone could change your life. Mm-hmm. Travis was in a bad plane accident yes. where he yes. almost yes. died. Yes. He never took a plane after that. I think it was 12 or 13 years. He did not. He took the bus everywhere. Never yes. flew. You know them Kardashians be all up out, out the world worldwide. Okay. Yep. Yes. So you know he was going to have to figure something out. He took a plane with Courtney. I think they yep. went to Cabo. I think it was Cabo they went to. They went someplace that wasn't crazy far, but he got on the plane. So for me, that goes to show you, you really genuinely care about somebody. You care about their interests. You're going to be like, listen, I got your back. We're going to do this. And it just went to show you how he was able to conquer a fear because I would be terrified to get on the plane after some yes. after that type of traumatic experience. Yeah. You know, I would be very, very nervous. Yeah. So I, I just really appreciate their love story. I really like them. I do believe it's going to work like you guys mentioned and that they're going to continue to grow um, because I just think they're so cute together. I really, truly do. I'd be like, okay, Court, I see you. Yeah. <laughs> And to put I think too. Oh, sorry, to no, put good, good. that story you was talking about, JD, with the plane acts, with the plane plane accident. They, I was reading it on Facebook. I don't know if you guys look at your updates on um, Facebook. They give you like news of mm-hmm. stuff. He said that he took. Not only did he take that plane ride, the first one, he took about four different plane rides for her in a month. So you wow. see that man really, really put his whole trust in her and said, you know what? I love you. You don't do the fun, you don't do the car rides. You don't, we're gonna get on this jet. We're gonna be fine. He put his love, his trust, and, and everything into her. And I absolutely adore that. When a person is able to be comfortable with you, right, and to share their fears and to be open and honest, that's 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 just everything. It's just everything. That is a whole relationship. Like, okay, we can do this. We, I got you. You got me. And that's exactly, you are gonna be my rider for life. Exactly, you gonna be my You gonna be my client. And, and right. have to work. I love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Agreed. Agreed. I am um, one thing I will say that I think they bring out the great traits in each other. For example, just as you said. Um, uh, Courtney has definitely helped Travis overcome his fear of flying, which is right. very, 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 very real. I mean, he had a near death experience, but in addition, I think I've always looked at Courtney as someone, one of the sisters that was very low key, mm-hmm. but in recent, if you have seen her in the tabloids and such, she's really coming out of her shell. Oh she's yeah. Dressing more, more flamboyant, more yep. out there. Than she previous early too. Yes, she's getting into her stuff. Right. Really got, so I really, I really think, really think they bring her. each other out. I really think. Sorry, La. I think. No, you're I think God was really holding her back to becoming herself and knowing one's worth. And you know, Scott had, like we say, Scott had issues. Scott didn't know if he wanted to be with her or wanted to get it married. He was just going. He just house. got proposed to Courtney. Yeah. He proposed to her. He wanted to marry her, but she did not want to marry him. Scott proposed to Courtney. I think yeah, I truthfully, though, I didn't watch the show for that long. Yeah, and I think that was on when they were doing like the New York one. It was Chloe, no, Courtney and Kim take New York. He had got this restaurant and he had bought a ring and he wanted to marry her. But now he's up here probably playing Usher's You Got It Bad. He probably been paying it all week and sitting in the corner crying. crying. And my thing is, when you know you got somebody good, I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this out there to our people because I'm feeling it right now. I'm going to say this. 
people are not perfect. We're imperfect people. But when you got somebody who willing go, who gonna ride for you, who gonna sit and fight their family for you, who gonna sit and be there for you, comfort you, take care of you, be there for you, good, bad, and different, never ask you for nothing, you're gonna have you a rider on your side. We got our own hangups, our own insecurities, our own problems, our own issues, but it takes a real dude to overlook all of that to still want to rock with you, okay? So we need to stop thinking that we're going to get with somebody who's going to be perfect and have no issues, no insecurities, no problems, nothing going on. We need to stop thinking that there's this perfect person out there because there ain't no perfect person. It's two imperfect people working together to create something absolutely magnificent so a lot of these fellas or females you looking for the perfect person guess what baby they're not there and stop trying to create them and mold them and make them because if a person really care about you they're gonna put in that work to keep you there you go they're gonna put they're gonna put in that work to keep you no matter how hard things get no matter if you have a bad day no matter if they have a bad day they're gonna say you know what she wrote for me. This is this is this is home. Okay, so I'm just gonna put that out there in the universe. Amen. Amen. I'm sorry. Amen. We but need to that. end on that note because that right there is point blank. Period. There we go. But sadly, okay. the way relationships <laughs> so, work nowadays, people don't do that. People don't do that. People want to leave as soon as oh my god, he's a who they want to leave. Nobody wants to put in any type of work. Nope, nobody. And not only that now, just like Jada said, it's about if they really want to make it work and they're rocking with you, they will make it work. Hey, you know what? My girl needs to get over here to Cabo for an event. I have this fear of flying. I'm going to go to that therapist to help get over my fear of flying. I'm, we have a vacation coming up, a family vacation. I'm going to get over that fear to take her there to appease her. Because that's what you do when you love somebody. You that's do right. what it takes to make them happy. Yep. That's, that's right. That's I'm that's sorry, but I'm... That's it. That for me, got me feeling a way. <laughs> you got me feeling a way. <laughs> it's, it's right. It's right. Nobody wants to put in the 100%. Everybody wants to put in the 20% and big... The that's other it. Thing. Like you said, Nelly, 20%. And ain't going to work. No, nope, because everybody else wants the guy to do the 95 point cent when you come with two percent. No, boo boo. You need 50, you need 50, y'all come together, y'all make it a hundred. Let's do what our grandparents did and let's work at it instead of running when things get tough. That's what it is. Nobody got that type of grandparent love no more. Nobody Nobody do. I want to do what my grandparents did and and work at it. I don't want to sit here and you you catch me on a bad day or you catch me in one of my triggers instead of saying what's wrong what's going on you want to get up and you want to leave and you don't want to deal and my thing is yeah you might have your own triggers too but if you really love somebody you're going to care about them and i'll never forget i gotta find this quote because i saw it the other day and it was absolutely beautiful and it says imagine meeting someone who wanted to learn your past not to punish you but to understand how you needed to be loved and people don't want to do that today and that's it one more time Imagine Imagine meeting meeting someone someone who wanted to learn your past, not to punish you, but to understand how you needed to be loved. They send that to me, please. Baby, I'm going to send this in the chat right now. Okay. Go go ahead. Go ahead. I want to to finish finish the quote off with this. This one comes from C.S. Lewis. He says, you can't go back and change the beginning but you can start where you are and change the ending. So for all of you that may be out there struggling with that thought of, you know what? Watch this episode and let's get back to that grandparents love. That's right. We thank you guys for watching with us, being here with us. We always love to chill, kiki, and laugh. And please share your comments. Tell us what you think. Do we we need our grandparents' old school love? We don't have that today. So give us your thoughts in the comment section. And we'll definitely be back with a brand new episode of Them Wise Girls next week. And as always, if you have a business, please send us an email at themwisegirls at gmail.com. And we'll be sure to check it out and promote it for you right here on the show. So we hope you have an amazing 
amazing week and awesome rest of your day. And we'll be back here with the Dumb Wise Girls episode next Sunday. Later. Bye. Bye. Bye.